Okay. Hello. Um, so this is the bottom half of the uh, pie top project that I've been working on lately. Um, this is a project where the goal was to build a better Pi laptop um, and solve a lot of the complaints I have had about them. So let me first cover the complaints. Um, first one is not all of them have a trackpad, which this one has a trackpad. Um, secondly, is about um, GPIO access. Not all of them have easy um, full GPIO pass-through. This one is full GPIE pass-through through an IDE ribbon cable, which you will see um, more about in a moment. Um, this is not a perfect pie top. This is a first revision. Um, the next complaint I had was hinges. Um, a lot of the pie top either don't really have good hinges, they're just kind of like friction fit plastic that will wear out very soon. Um, or they um, are hinges that they're like door hinges and they just have a hard stop and you can't adjust the level. Or they use hinges salvaged from an old laptop and the problem with that is you need an old laptop to salvage the hinges from which I don't have at the time, and, um, I mean, they're not that hard to get, but, um, yeah, they're not that easy to get either. Um, they're just not something you have all the time, um, at least with me around here. Um, a lot of the uh, laptops I get actually aren't even salvage grade. They're, uh, quite easily refurbishable. Um, so I would, you know, rather refurbish them than steal the hint. Um, so, what I designed, um, was this, which is a 3D printable hinge that uses fairly, um, easily available parts. So the tension spring is a, uh, fairly standard 3D printer part. Um, you can buy them on AliExpress. I think it's like a 10-pack for, like, 50 cents or something. Um, and they're used in MakerBot extruders, they're used in some bed leveling system, they're used in the bed leveling system on my printers. Um, so these springs are quite, um, easy to get. Um, then it has an M5, um, bolt, um, that just goes through it. Um, and as you, um, raise the hinge, the spring gets tighter and provides the tension to keep it in place, and as you lower it, it gets looser. Um, like... It, it's a it, it, uh, it's a very large scale version of the same principle um, laptop hinges use, um, and I think this is a great um, th this is one of the best parts of this pie top. Um, other complaints I've had with standard pie tops are um, they use screens that are too small. Um, I would, this has a 9 inch screen, but a lot of pie tops just use 7 inch screens, which are, in my opinion, um, too small. I mean, pie tops aren't the most usable things in general, they're more of just a project to build it and use occasionally if you need a portable pie for some reason. Um, but if you really needed a portable pie, I would just run a pie off a battery bank and, uh, use VNC or SSH from a phone or tablet, um, or a standard laptop even. Um, but th this pie top um, is more portable than most. Um, however, it does still have some rather large flaws. Um, mostly its ease of construction um, is really not that great. Um, the way it works is it has a top, th this is a 3D printed um, bottom print, it's printed in two pieces, um, and um, it's welded together using a 3D printing um, pen, um, such as this one here. Um, and then it has this top frame that sits around the keyboard that is also 3D printed in two pieces and welded together. Um, the keyboard is a fairly standard part, but they've 
gotten hard to find. They make a different one now that has different dimensions. Um, but I've had this one for a while, so I wanted to use it. And the way this all works is um, just everything is basically mounted to the keyboard. Um, and that means that you basically just have to hot glue everything into place. Um, or tape, in the case of the battery. The battery's taped in place because I didn't want to hot glue onto a um, bare lithium polymer cell because that would heat it up. Um, and generally, hot light bulbs are not a good thing. Um, so you can see the ease of construction of this. It's just kind of a rat's nest of wires. Um, okay. Did my... One moment. Okay, it's still filming. Oh, well. Um, I, I recently got a screen so I can monitor um, the filming, and it just cut out. There it is. It's back. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So, you can... Um, where was I? Yeah, it's just really hard to assemble. Um, the wire runs are really tight. You need very specific length wires. Um, these green wires were taken from a Pi laptop kit I got from a friend. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can buy similar wires, but um, they were just kind of the perfect length for this. Um, it's using a um, micro USB power because, well, the GPIO is taken up by this IDE cable. This IDE cable was from another Pi thing I got from a friend uh, that's also a very specific length. You can see it's perfect um, to run from here to there. Um, other problems are the power connector. You can see it's positioned here and it's inset into the case. And then in the case, there's a cutout for it here that doesn't line up perfectly. And it's actually fairly difficult to get in. Um, the micro USB power, um, that's just f quite difficult to get in. It's doable, but it's really not easy at all. Um, shoot. Yeah, it's not, that, that's the, one of the big things I would need to change. I would probably need to use something like this. Um, which is a micro USB breakout board, so I have a lot more options as to where I could put it, except um, I'm not going to do that for uh, this one. Um, if I make a revision two, I will address a lot of these complaints. The screen assembly, I don't actually have with me right now. It's in a different room that I forgot to grab it. Um, but it is actually ever so slightly too thin for these hinges, I decide. Um, so that's going to be interesting, trying to mount these. Um, also, these hinges should have had rounded corners. Um, because I'm going to have to push them slightly away from the plastic so they don't get caught on it. Um, I would have just had to round the corners here, which I didn't do. Um, I can maybe even reprint these. These aren't a big part. Um, I might reprint these um, with rounded corners, or I might just print a spacer and mount them away from the plastic. We'll see if I can even get a large enough radius to have these uh, work properly. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, what else is there to say, really? It's, um, it's a Pi laptop, um, that is of a fairly unique design, um, in my opinion. I have not seen that many other ones like this. Um, lots of them, again, either rely on you having an old laptop to salvage, um, and all of these parts, with the exception of this keyboard, um, I mean, you can buy the newer one, um, but then you would have to modify the CAD files, um, uh, are fairly easily accessible, um, and purchasable, and I actually designed this around parts I already had, which is why it's using this keyboard, um, so I didn't even have to buy a lot of parts for this project. Um, So I, I will um, end up finishing this up in the next week or two, um, hopefully, um, as I get the springs in for the this other hinge, because I had one spring lying around, um, but I needed to buy one of those 10 packs on AliExpress for this one, um, and I modify the designs to their final form, um, and... Um, Hopefully I will have it completely assembled soon.
um, and be able to show it um, to you guys. Um, yeah. Bye.